going out there, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. It's a website with lessons and all that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, anyway, any people that sign my email list down there, I send you a free ebook in your email. But be sure to check your junk mail because every once in a while someone says they didn't get one. I really am sending them out. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to teach you this song. Uh, it's, a, it's a great tune. A lot of requests for it. He's kind of doing that the whole time with his right hand. And he's playing bar chords. So what I want to do though is there's probably more beginners out there. So I'll teach you the open chord version first and I'll show you some of those bar chords. And if we have time at the end I'll show you that little that little line too. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're going to call this part the verse. And it's going to be a D major chord. Followed by an A major chord. Followed by a G major chord. Followed by an E minor chord. So that's the verse. So I'm kind of just going So you could go down up down up down up 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 down up down up down up down up down up 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 down up down up down up down up down up 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 down up down up and uh that's kind of how I'm thinking of it but when you do the bar chords you can kind of emphasize which ones you want to ring out by squeezing down on the chord but we don't have that with the open chords After he does it the apropos amount of times to transition into the chorus, it goes to an A major chord, and you're going to play that. Two of those rhythm sequences through, you know, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, and then we go in to the chorus. So that'd be uh, one, two on D, and then E minor, one, two. And then two on G, one, two, and then two on D, one, two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. into it. So after the chorus, it goes back to that A chord. But there's some different things going on there, and I can talk about that. Uh, the piano is playing an A7 chord. And on a guitar, you can play A major, take your middle finger off. But uh, that's the underlying chord, but then Jack Johnson on the electric guitar is going... Uh, He's playing kind of like an A minor chord, but it's more of like kind of like a little bluesy 
riff, and that would be coming from the A minor pentatonic scale, which is in that ebook that you sign up for down there. Um, and he's covering really the you know the fifth fret of the G and the B. And then I'm playing a A7 bar chord right here instead of this one. Just to show you, you know. You know, he's got that little thing in there back into the... And so you can see he uses the A chord to bridge together uh, the verse to the chorus, and then the chorus back to the verse. He uses the A chord to transition. And that would be called the five chord in music theory. Strongest resolution back to the first chord. But we don't, you know, it's a little extra bonus for you. So let's talk about the bar chords now. For a D major, you can play bar the fifth fret, and then your ring finger is going to cover the seventh fret of the G, or I'm sorry, the D, G, and B. And the high E is basically muted by my index finger here. So we got. You take this exact same shape, and we're going to scoot it all the way up to where the bar is on the 12th fret. And when you do play this bar chord, and you do get that high E in there, this will be called an A major 6. And I'm hearing some of that in there, and then on the G, which is now the same thing, a whole step down, barred on the 10th fret, you can kind of hear that note in there. And then E minor is going to be barred on the 7th on the A string root, and then you've got 9, 9, 8, 7. So you would do it like that. Uh, that little melodic line. The whole time we're going to play the A and the G string with the D string muted in between. And what you can do is you can just, they're going to be in the same form for the whole thing. So you could just kind of look at one finger and keep it locked in. So it would be, we'll look at the index finger. We got 12, 14, 7, 9, 5, 2. All right, one more time. 12, 14, 9. No. Four, uh, 12, 14, 7, 9, 5, 2, 5, 7, 5. Cool. Hope you had fun with that. You can sign down there for that free ebook. Otherwise, hopefully, I will see you in another lesson. Hope you had fun. We'll see you later.